What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day 37 of Onshape. We're going to look at exploded views and bill of materials. So we're going to take our assembly that we finished and then create an exploded view of it and then also create a bill of materials as well. Okay, so what do we do first? We have our assembly here and what we're going to do now is create our exploded view. So we click on this button way on the right hand side and it says exploded views and now we can start to disassemble our product, but not permanently, just kind of as a way to show or model or exemplify how to take this thing apart. So what we're gonna do is now, we're now in the uh, explode editing environment. When you're taking pieces apart, what I want you to do is this isometric view. I don't want you to disassemble your parts in a way that don't make sense. And here's what I mean. If I'm going to take this, uh, part right here, I have to take other parts out first. We don't want to pull parts through each other. There might be some instances where you can uh, get away with it, but and we'll see maybe one of those later on. Uh, but when you're starting to disassemble something, I want you to start with what makes sense on how to take it apart. So the first thing that might make sense is to take this screw out. So we're going to go ahead and pull this screw out hit the green check mark and call it done. There we go. We notice that some leader lines get thrown in and that's awesome because it shows us where that piece goes. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna take apart this whole sub assembly, uh, starting with the shoe and then going on up. And so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna pull the whole shoe out and hit the green check mark. We notice everything is still selected. And so if we wanna move pieces one at a time, you're welcome to. However, if you figure out a way to have pieces move where you don't need to select every single thing, you can kind of group things together, it can hopefully make a little bit better use of your time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just moving parts a little bit, going back to my isometric view, moving them just enough where I can see the part hit the green check mark, and then we're looking good. Okay, so we got that whole first sub assembly finished. Let's go ahead and continue to move on some pieces. And what I'm gonna do is take these two pieces on out, hit the green check mark, and then bring just this piece forward. Hit the green check mark. Okay, almost done, ladies and gentlemen. All thing we need to do now is to fix this last bottom piece right here. Now, when it comes to this disassembly, one thing I want to take in consideration of is my leader lines. And so, hopefully, if somebody saw this diagram, they could see that this part would slide on like so. So, in order to keep my drawing nice and simple, what I'm going to do actually is I'm just gonna pull this off to the side, like so. All right, what that does for me is that it makes my exploded view nice and small. That way, they, you know, these pieces aren't flying everywhere across the room. I am gonna take these exploded lines away though because the part was not pulled through that pole. It was just taken off and placed next to it. And there we go. What we are gonna do is we're gonna kind of just rename this exploded view, we're gonna call it just a disassemble selfie stick. You can name your exploded views, and so if we are doing just a sub-assembly, you can say, you know, disassembled X sub-assembly or B or you know whatever part you're doing. And now that we're done here, when I click on done, you notice my part gets put back together. So those exploded views aren't permanent by any means. So we're gonna click on plus and we're gonna create a new drawing now. And in this drawing we're gonna pull in, we're not gonna pull in a view, but we're gonna pull in that exploded view. Well, we're gonna, so we're gonna click on assemblies and we have this assembly right here. And we notice that there's some interesting uh, options here we haven't talked about yet. So the first one being is view orientation. We'll stick with that isometric, because as I was disassembling it, I was I made sure I stayed on that isometric view. 
And then the explodes last position, I'm just going to do disassembled selfie stick. Since you've already named it, it should be easy to pull out and figure out where things are at. One thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to bump up this ratio just a little bit. Let's do 1 to 4. Maybe 1 to 3. Can we get away with 1 to 3? There we go. All right. Now, I have a thing I don't quite like is what this view looks like. So I'm going to actually, instead of the isometric, let's try the front. Does that get a better exploded view there? Not quite. So what I'm going to do now is I notice that this screw is on top of this part right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this part. So I'm going to go back to my assembly, my exploded view, and we're going to move this part. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move it to the other side. Will that work? Yes, it should work. So exploded view, hit the green check mark, go back here to drawing, and then we hit the refresh page for the update. And what it'll do is it'll change the workspace to reflect what I just did. And that was to throw it on the other side. But I'd seem to have kept my uh, uh, exploded leader line in there. So let's go back to assembly, double click here, turn my explode line off, and then we're looking good. Okay, let's update that one more time. Awesome. Now nothing in here necessarily looks wrong, but I am going to try to go, let's, let's see if I can bump up that scale just a little bit more. Ooh, just a little bit too big. Alrighty. Okay, hit the green check mark here, and we're looking good. Next thing I'm going to do is we're going to insert a bill of materials table. Now I don't know if there's an easier way to do this, but this is what I found out to be the best way for me is that when you throw it in there, it'll automatically throw in some information. This isn't the information I want, so how do we, uh, we effectively change that? This top right corner allows you to drag and drop. So I noticed the first couple times that I threw my build materials in here, I threw down where there was an overlap between the title block. You have to move it by this black dot. Uh, so I'm gonna move it up to where it matches up just where I need it to. Okay. And then when I, I try, really try for the best me to see if I can get a manual override of these parts when it comes to this build materials. And the reason you can't change it is because there is a specific designation already in that build materials. So you can't really type over it. What we can do though, is we can move this build of materials to sheet, not to sheet, sorry. Switch to build materials assembly. So what it'll do is it'll kick us back to our exploded view. And here we can actually edit the build materials. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take anything I don't want in there. So the part number and the description. And what I am gonna do in there is I'm gonna add a column and it'll be the name. Cause that's the part I want actually. We're gonna go here and click done. In the same way that we updated our drawing, we're going to update our build materials. Click update one more time. And we notice that it's a little bit changed in size, but now is the information I want on there. So depending upon what we had, if we had price, if we had, you know, catalog number, you can put in that information as you're building your parts. This allows you to have everything kind of one nice one neat space. The only thing we're missing are balloons now. So we're going to click on our, our balloons, our callouts. And what we can do in here is we can just find a spot on our callout. It will automatically fill in all that information for you. All you have to do is click on it once. Put where your balloon where you want it to go. Click on another time. And you can just select all of this information. There we go. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have our build materials, we have exploded views, and we have our callouts or our balloons for our exploded view. Okay, if you have any questions on this video, please let me know. And just like always, if this videos are helpful, please like and subscribe. It is more awesome than you think just to see how uh, some of these videos are used in other classrooms. 
this is just too fun. Uh, up next, I believe we're going to start moving into the realm of automatas. Um, at least I'm putting them off to the side. I want to make sure the videos in the classroom are still being made, but I really want to get to those automatas uh, definitely before Christmas break. Alrighty, guys, you're awesome. Keep being awesome, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.